What's good, y'all? Welcome to episode of Buzz Boy. And this is not good news, man. I talked about this a little bit in my other video because like, it was breaking news while I was doing it. James Booknight will miss the Summer League this year with the pinky injury, man. Um, I don't know what happened, how it happened. It probably happened while he was training. Um, he had surgery on it uh, yesterday. And, yeah, he's going to miss Summer League um, on his right pinky. So, you know, that is his shooting hand. I believe he's right-handed. Pretty sure he's right-handed. So, yeah, that sucks, um, especially because, you know, I, I thought we could win it all for Summer League. Um, Book Knight, McGowan's, JT Thor, uh, Kai Jones, and Mark Williams. Come on now. I thought we could have had a real chance to win that shit. That's not even mentioning Kaboka. That's not even mentioning Jello. If he comes back to play, like, bro, we, we really could have been straight, bro. Uh, Brady Manic is going to be on our shit. Like, bro, we really could have been straight. Like, what the fuck? Um, then DJ Carton. Um, so now, without Book Knight, you know, uh, I'm sure we're going to bring in another guard. Um, they said... Tyshawn Alexander out of, out of Creighton. He went undrafted in 2020, so I don't know. It's probably not that good, but it fucking sucks because Book Knight obviously supposed to be the best player on his team. Um, we can still be a good team. You know, I'm guessing the starting lineup now would be DJ Carton, Bryce McGowns, uh, JT Thor, uh, Kai Jones, and, and Mark Williams. But, uh, Hey, bro, it's still nice for me to have Brady Manic coming off the bench. Uh, you still got Scotty Lewis. Uh, I know this Kaboka if he comes. Uh, Leangelo if he comes. But um, we're definitely going to need more point guards. You know, and Kobe Simmons is always on our team in Summer League, it seems like. But, you know, uh, I think he got picked up by another team. I think he was on, like, the Trailblazers Summer League last year or some shit. So, I don't know. He's not really as linked to the Hornets and Greensboro organizations as much as he used to be so i don't know i don't know who we're gonna get to replace him for summer league and it's definitely a bummer um because like i said we were all looking forward to seeing him hoop see him looking forward to see the improvements that he's made this off season and it's just like damn what the fuck like i don't want to see us have another trash summer league like we did last year going over four or, or one for three whatever the fuck we did last year it wasn't good i don't want to see that shit happen again um, it sucks, man. It kind of gives a little Malik Monk vibes, like where he just couldn't get on the court his rookie year. Then his sophomore year, he was supposed to make a big leap. He missed summer league with some random injury. And then I think he missed summer league his third year or whatever. Like it just always seemed to be something and he just missed his opportunity. So I don't know, man. I really just want to see Book Knight flourish. Um, you know, there's no indication that he's going to miss anything of training camp or anything like that. But, uh, you know, summer league for a young player, it, it, it's big. You know, you know, Book Knight, he, you know, did play in real games. He did play plenty of time in the G League. So, I mean, it's like summer league isn't everything to him. It's not like he's a rookie, you know, but still it's something that you want to see how he looks against other young players that are supposed to be in his talent range. So, yeah, it, it sucks. It does suck. But um, I just wanted to let y'all know that, make a video about it. I mean, I know y'all probably heard about it in my last video, but, you know, I wanted to give y'all some content for today. Um, should y'all comment down below what young player y'all think we should pick up? If it's a young player y'all think we should pick up that uh isn't on the squad, uh, I'm trying to think somebody from UNC that's not on the team because you know how Michael Jordan be. He'll grab anybody from UNC and throw them on the summer league. That's how Brady Manning got up there. But Brady Manning's a real baller, though. I, I kind of thought he was going to go undrafted, but he's a real hooper, though. Like, he, I'm surprised that he didn't sign a two-way contract or something. Like, all he has is a, a summer league deal with us. He hasn't signed anything else with anybody. And, bro, he was one of the best players in the national tournament, like, Everybody saw he can stretch the floor, shoot. He has post ability. Like, I don't know, man. Um, hopefully, he kills in the summer league for us because, you know, I like to see my Tar Heels succeed as well. Um, 
Yeah, y'all comment down below who y'all like to see. I'm really seeing her, seeing her trying to think of like a guard or something that went undrafted or. Yeah, I don't know. I can't even. I can't even think of nobody. But I don't fucking know. You know, this is why it is important for the Hornets to get a good young backup point guard to be developing. Um, we need to find one. One that we can, you know, grow within the ranks. Um, he might not ever take LaMelo's spot, obviously, anything like that. But just somebody who can be our long-term backup point guard. Like, that's an important role. As we saw with the Celtics in the finals, they didn't have no fucking backup point guard behind Marcus Smart. Some people saying Mark Smart not even a point guard, but whatever. Don't I'm not trying to get into that, but the importance of a point guard is very big. Um, speaking of Hornets point guards, uh, Ish Smith just got traded again. Um, he's no longer a Hornets point guard, obviously, because we traded him for Montrezl Zero, but he just got traded again to the Nuggets. So yeah, just a little talking point. Yeah, he got traded for Will Barton. Uh, him and him and KCP got traded for Will Barton and um. Damn, what's the other dude name or the Nuggets? I want to say Jermichael Green, but don't quote me on that. I don't lost the tweet. Will Barn and Monte Morris. Yeah. KCP and, and uh, Ish Smith for Will Barn and Monte Morris. Mm. A lot of these little trades starting to happen now, so I'm interested to see what the Hornets do. I feel like our name's going to be popping up in one of these things anytime now to try to be uh, moving some money around. So keep your eyes peeled, um, Shams, Woj, Rod Boone, all that. Just see what happens at the end date is the off season. And this is what happens at the off season, man. Teams got to uh, dump salary and, and try to get ready for free agency. So that's kind of what we're seeing right now. Lots of, lots of like, you know, little trades that don't really move the needle as far as player wise, but just, you know, freeing up money. Um, yeah. Anyways. Ooh, Lonnie Walker is not expected to return to the Spurs. Hey, man, that could be somebody who could be a Hornet on a, on a cheap deal. No, no, the Hornets do need a backup point guard, though. Hopefully we do have some money left over to, to go and get somebody. I mean, I wouldn't mind bringing back IT, but I don't know. Anyway, you know, I'm just trying to keep the video a decent a decent length of time but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up kind of tired this morning time but anyways thank y'all for watching y'all comment down below do y'all think this is a big deal that book night misses summer league um you know do you think it's a, a, gonna stunt his development i don't really think it's that big of a deal at the end of the day it's only like four games unless y'all make the playoffs and get a good good little run in there um, but ultimately, I mean, it sucks, but he's already played, so I'm not tripping too bad. Now, if he was a rookie, it would kind of, like, be a big deal because, like, you're missing development in the NBA. Shit moves so fast. You need all the time that you can get to get adjusted to it. But, um, just because, you know, he's a second-year player, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Like, but, yeah, y'all comment down below how do y'all feel about it. But anyway... I'll catch on the next one.